so this is how to like get the best settings you can in your config and in game on CSGO. So you need to go into library on Steam and then games. Right click on Counter Strike and click properties. And in there you click set launch options. Click on that. So the things you need to type to make it faster. So wait a minute. Right, okay. So mine is still W. These this is your resolution. And then make sure the game is your resolution. So minus W and then resolution minus H and the other bit. Then then minus frequency sixty minus refresh sixty. So that's your refresh rate, uh how the game runs when you're actually in game. Process heat just helps with processing. No vid. What that does is when you load up CSGO there's no video at the start. And if you've got a bad computer uh, you need that off because then it takes up less RAM and generally you can have it off anyway for a faster load um, minus no joy I can't remember what that does um, and then you want minus high minus tick rate 128 and that means that in the servers you can have uh, 128 tick rate or, or 64 I think but um, the higher the number which I think 120 is the highest on CSGO at the moment um, so it's just how fast the server runs and how reliable it is for what you're seeing and you want minus res 3 and I can't remember what that means either plus mac q mode 2 plus or exec auto exec CL force preload 1 so that's like preloading things before you go around and it helps things run more smoothly and quicker so like if you have all these set up depending on what you've got then you should be good to go and the game should run smoother so when you're actually in game, you need to go on your game settings, which is this. So you don't want instruction messages, they get in the way. Uh, you want to set this as low as possible because you don't want high ping because that will just make your run slower, obviously. So I set mine at 50, I think that's the lowest you can go anyway. Uh, I have that at the bottom left just so it doesn't get in the way of the radar or anything. I mean you can't have it, oh you can't have it off. Uh, you want developer console on if you don't just so you can like change crosshair etc i mean that one should be on anyway uh, hood scale and hood background alpha that's anything you prefer this is what i prefer but it doesn't matter what you have half an hour style simple so it's just kind of how it's laid out on your screen and this is just makes more sense to have it on show in inventory because you can have the bomb show under the radar like saying you have the bomb but i would rather it show my inventory because it's in my inventory and obviously you click number five on what have you got um after grenades because that's four's grenades so five for bomb you know it just makes more sense but that doesn't matter either mini scoreboard position doesn't really matter show avatars preference these ones don't matter either. I might say that's enough. Show teammate colours. Uh, I prefer to have that so then if you don't know the name or they've got a long name or you can't pronounce it or it's like not English or whatever language, then show colours and you can just say like purple couldn't help or something like that. Uh, friends will be default permissions. That's just like when you join a friend, um, like a friends lobby. It means can a friend like click on your name and then click join or do you have to invite them that one's also preference obviously uh, these ones also preference this one is just 0 0.27 uh, i think that's basic anyway so this one's pretty important so when you run and you have no primary you pick up a primary on the floor now if this option is on it means as soon as you run on that you'll switch to the primary so if you're in a pistol fight and then you um, accidentally run into a primary weapon, you'll switch and then the enemy will have time to kill you while you're switching weapons. So if you're that off, it means you'll equip the primary, but you won't like start holding it until you choose to hold it. So that's just a lot easier and it stops mess ups. And it makes it a lot easier so you're not messing around and fiddling with things all the time. View model position, that doesn't matter either, but I think the best one to keep on is apparently desktop. You don't have to always show inventory so it doesn't get in the way of your screen that one preference and then the same with that so radar hood size you want it like fairly big but not too big so you can see it rotate the radar so that means like say if you go left into a main in cache 
then if you walk left into it, the map will rotate so you can see the layout from your view. So you can easily just know, oh, I need to go left to get to the site kind of thing, instead of like having to turn your head around and work out where to go. Radar map zoom, a similar thing, but you don't want it zoomed in too much. You can see most of the map. Toggle shape and scoreboard. That doesn't matter either. And then that one's the exact same. So the, those are the options I have for that. And a lot of it's preference. And then the same with video settings. So the best to have it in display mode is full screen window. So that means you can tab out really quickly. Because if it's on just normal full screen, when you tab out, it's kind of quick. But when you tab in, you have to wait like 5-10 seconds for it to render. Or you can just have full screen windowed and it'll just straight away do it. Uh, I don't use a laptop. But if I move that... This is just for people who use laptops. You want that on in case you're not charging. These, depending on how fast your processors are, I changed that to medium. Yeah, that just cut off when I changed it to medium. <laughs> um, you want shaded detail. That's well. These are kind of like how you see things in games. So global shadows, just seeing shadows, and that can help. Say if you're on dust two under the bridge, you can see someone jumping down through the shadow to the left. Uh, model texture detail, same thing, just how detailed things are. You need it lower as possible if you've got a low end PC, laptop, computer. The only reason mine aren't that high is for when I record. Shaded deal to the controls are super Yeah, so when I'm recording videos, I don't want everything maxed. Multi core rendering, this is obviously on because the more cores you have processing, the faster. The game will load and process and load all these, will render all these things. Um, multi sampling and anti aliasing. Now it does say it's good, but I wouldn't use it. Uh, Bilinear, I have no clue what that means, but you meant to. It's the preferred one. But maybe trilinear is better, I don't know. I don't want to touch it. This one needs to be enabled. Um, just clears all up and all that. Wait for vertical sync, now it does look good if you look at it, but it doesn't actually make it smoother. What it does is instead of like, it does stop visual tearing, but it can like slow down your view or you see things differently or the game seems to slow down and like, you might see someone somewhere but they're not actually there and that's how vSync works and it's not very good. The motion blur you just need off, it's just not good. I mean, that, that's what it does but... I've played games with it on and I couldn't move at all, it was really horrible. So I hope that's helped anyone like decide their settings and all that. And thanks for watching, hope this helps out. Uh, keep subscribed for more videos, I'm going to have some more betting ones and then some more in-game ones. Just thanks for watching, bye. Yeah.